I'm that streamer, dude. My friends on Twitch call me Rocky. You can catch me every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Central Standard Time, usually a little later on Fridays. We'd love to have you come by and say hi. I'm putting together this video today of my 2021 setup. And I'm hoping that, listen, I know it's not like a starting point for a lot of people, but I'm hoping that this video can be like a starting point for me to kind of see how this setup evolves and for you guys to watch how that evolves. And uh, I, there are a lot of things that are really, really cool in my setup, but there are a lot of things that I feel like have room for improvement. And I think it'll be cool over the years or whatever to kind of go back and watch some of the changes that took place and kind of watch this space evolve. In case you're new here, let me tell you a little bit about my channel. I put this YouTube together to share information that I have learned over the years from streaming. I'm a partner streamer over on Twitch and I've been at it for about three years now. And so uh, I actually started with like a dual stream setup. And so I, what I mean by that is me and a buddy of mine we're both on the same stream. He lives like 30 miles away. And so we had to bring his stream in remotely. And let me tell you, if there is any kind of technical difficulty, your boy has experienced it. And so I have gone through all the troubleshooting steps for like all of the problems. And uh, I really wanna be able to share that here on this channel, but also maybe new software that comes out or how to do different things, build different scenes, uh, new cameras or new different, technologies that come out that you could use to implement in your stream creatively and make your stream different and it may be even more expanded than that you know i'm just getting started on this channel but i can promise you that i am going to share information that should help you with your content creation whether that is on youtube whether that's on twitch wherever it may be that you're producing content my goal is to give you ideas and help you with ways that makes your channel stand out so back to the setup this is all an accumulation of about four years of content creation. Whenever I started uh, producing content, I actually started on YouTube and I started downstairs in front of the TV on a TV tray with a blue snowball mic. And it was like busted. It was cracked. I got it from a buddy and uh, my monitor literally was my old like 70 inch screen TV. So then we progressed about a year later into something like this. This is my setup. Uh, for when I actually started like streaming and doing content creation a little bit more seriously. And then over the years, uh, it developed into this. And so I still have a ways to go, but I'm actually really happy with the way that everything is coming along. And I'd love to even get feedback from you guys as to what you think would be cool in here. What's cool and different that I could put in here that might really stand out because I am by no means a, uh, what do you even call those people? designer <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you call the interior i'm not an interior designer okay uh most of what's happened in here aesthetically is from my wife uh she helps me out a lot shout out to her for not killing me yet and part of it i actually know she would even like to replace uh, and she's wanted to replace for a while it just turns out that i'm cheap so that might be part of the problem like the couch i'm gonna show you in a minute listen there are definitely upgrade opportunities i'm gonna stop yapping and let's get to it. So I'm gonna start off and make my way around the room. I've got this laptop right here, which really isn't supposed to be in here, but my wife brought it in here so she can play with it while I'm working on stuff. I do actually use it a lot for editing in Photoshop. The mouse that I have here is a Corsair Scimitar, I guess is how you say it, Pro. And I love these mouses. I'll never have a mouse that doesn't have 12 buttons on the side anymore. So this is the bad boy. It's an Acer Predator 17X. It's got an i7. 7700 hq and a gtx 1080 in it that's enough of that interesting thing about this couch here someone died on it I, i'm not really telling the truth but it makes this next part easier this came out of like a hospital and underneath that cover it's like green and has like white flowers i don't know it still smells like hospital if you open it up so we leave the cover on hey check out this cool cobra's pillow and blanket link in the description below cuddle up on the hospital couch <laughs> watch a little tv which we'll talk about in a little bit and you're set baby that's right all the comforts of a 1980s hospital right in your very own setup i, I gotta replace that on another note living in dallas texas this thing is a necessity for me i'm in like a small-ish room with two PCs and it gets hot in here. This here is an Arctic King one ton AC unit. Sometimes in the summer, I get this thing blasting. It's really convenient. It cools the room down really, really well. And it has a remote or an app on your phone that you can trigger it so that you don't have to get up and walk all the way across the room during your stream. When you turn it on, you'll see the vents like open up from the top. 
and give it a couple minutes you'll be colder than the toenail on a polar bear baby and it actually runs really quiet at least quiet enough for my microphone setup which i'll show you in a minute uh and one of the cool things is that it just runs out the window so we didn't have to drill anything in the wall it has this piece that you close the window down onto and the hose that snaps to it and then it vents all the hot air out the window you can see it right here going behind my blackout curtains because sunlight is for plebs I know I'll get some questions about my guitar, so I'll cover those as well. I've been playing guitar for about 10 years and I play a mean hot cross buns. This guitar is called a Franciscan. It's just the guitar I learned to play on. It's like a default guitar center brand. This is an Epiphone Les Paul. Whenever I started playing electric guitar, this was my first guitar. It's not like a super expensive or super impressive guitar, but it was a nice electric guitar to start with and it really has a pretty decent sound to it. My Squire Stratocaster, this is a, the Obey edition, I think it is. I was in a rock band, I bought it because I wanted to look like a badass. For what it is, it has a decent sound and it really plays pretty well, it's fun to play. Moving on to the next wall, we may as well start with the guitar here too. This here is my ESP LTD Cobweb, they only made 250 of these. It plays really well, like it's really fun to play, it sounds really good. Again, not the most expensive guitar, but at this point I wanted to look like the badass that would steal the badass's girlfriend. Below that, we have the customary gamer clear front door fridge, only mine's not filled with G Fuel. It's just in the back to look cool anyways. It is packed, however, with some of the essentials of over-the-top manly gamer streamer, dude. It's got uh, some wine cooler. It's got, it's got a monster. Some of the apple juice, like, sucky go-go package things, dude, or something like that. It's got a sugar-free Gatorade and Mike's Harder Lemonade, because if you drink anything else, you're a sissy man. We actually picked this one up at Best Buy for like $250 or something on sale. I thought it looked really cool, so I brought it home and it does a good job. I need to get some cooler stuff for up top here, but like over here on the side, this is a candle that my wife bought. And it actually smells really good, but I lost candle using privileges because uh, she came in here and like lit it. It was full like all the way up to here. And then uh, I forgot about it for like two days. It like burned for at least a day. I think it burned for 24 hours or something. And uh, you know, house didn't catch fire, but that was my bad. I forgot to blow it out. As for the other stuff, I don't really remember where I got the gorilla thing. I think I got it back when like the Harambe meme was still a thing. The Raptor underneath it came from a viewer who was cool enough to send me some stuff, as well as the lava lamp that came from one of my mods as well. So I just threw it up here to look cool. The bookshelf is pretty uneventful. I have this sign that I picked up from Walmart where you can put different letters and stuff on it. Uh, and then of course, Grandpappy's corn cob pipe. I don't really know what to do with it. My dad gave it to me. And so it just kind of made its way to the bookshelf. This whole bookshelf really needs to be replaced except for the 60 ounce bottle of Brut. Smell like your dad did in the 1960s before he got your mom. This little doodad up on top of the bookshelf is just a sensor for my Vive Pro, which you'll see here in a minute. I've got one up in this other corner of the room too. It just tells the vibe where I'm at. I've always been a hat guy. Like I have tons and tons of hats. This isn't even like all the hats that I have, but these are all the hats that I will wear or have worn on stream. Uh, I've just collected them for years and years. When I was a kid, my dad used to travel a lot. And when he came back, he would always bring me a hat. And so I've just gotten where if it's somewhere I can wear a hat, I wear a hat. These lanyards, if you've been to TwitchCon or if you've been to PAX, that's where these are from. When you walk around, like they give you these lanyards, but then like everybody's like selling or giving these pins and they make them feel like they're like this forbidden, like sought after fruit, dude. So then you spend money on more pins so that you look cool. I don't even, under I don't even like pins. This entertainment system we picked up on Amazon and it was actually the wrong color. It was like an oak. So we had to go through and dye it ourselves so that it would match the desk and match the bookcase. But uh, it really ended up looking really well when we were done with it. And it's kind of a place that I've just used to collect things that uh, viewers have sent me mainly. Up above, we've got this TV that's just a Vizio that we picked up at Walmart for like $350 on sale. And it's actually really, really good. It's a 4K TV and it looks amazing for the price that we paid for it. So I'm actually really happy with it. Ignore the extremely weird scene that's on it because <laughs> we just had our three year anniversary on Twitch. And so we had a little birthday party and okay. And then what's a birthday party without a clown? Behind the TV, I put an LED strip, which is made by Govi. They're a little bit cheaper than the, what are those ones called, dude? They're really expensive ones. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, these are really nice. They change color with an app on your phone and uh, they have different settings. They can flash, they can change with sound or whatever, but I think it gives it a really cool effect. So I was really happy with it. 
down here uh my wife put the scentsy in dude, i think she's trying to tell me i stink dude we have like all this smell good stuff but that blew up in the middle of a phasmophobia stream uh so that was a cool thing i haven't put a new bulb in there yet we've got the google home so i can change the light colors i'll show you that in a little bit and then the modem and the router now this router i do really like i spent a lot of time trying to find a good decent router for streaming uh, and I had a lot of troubles at first, but this is an Asus GTAX 11,000. It does a fantastic job. This screen down here with the little twerking Yoda on it, that's a Divoom TV Max. It just displays cool images and it's a wireless speaker. Actually bumps, it's pretty good. I highly recommend it, it's cool. It's, there's like thousands of different images you can put on it as well. On the second shelf, this is my Vive Pro. I don't use VR quite as much as I should probably for what I paid for this thing. And now there's like better technology, but listen, it really does a really good job. I love the Vibe Pro. The headset separates it for me from a lot of the other ones. It's actually really comfortable. It's immersive, it responds well. The only problem is those batteries in the controllers only last like two hours and that's not getting me through a stream. The rest of this stuff was sent to me by members of the community and I appreciate it and I love to display it my chair i get so many questions about my chair and i love this chair it's a clutch chair the model is the throttle and it does a fantastic job of holding my buttocks when i'm sitting down it's actually really comfortable even for a big dude like me and so the parts are all still hanging tight i haven't had any issues with it and i feel like it looks really cool on top of that so it's heavy duty uh, I did put a, like a little pillow thing because after like eight or nine hours, my butt still hurts. And I think that's regardless of whatever chair you've got. This pillow is made by purple and I sit on it with my butt. Finally, we've made it around to the desk. Check this little thing out before we get to the computer. I got this for Christmas. My wife got me this. It's called a Brewmate uh, Hopsolator Trio. So like you can put your cans in here. It's like a little Yeti for your cans. 100% recommend it. It's even got like a little cooling like gel pack thing that goes in there. It keeps things cool for a while. This is my gaming PC. Now, I don't have a lot of bright, super colorful, beautiful RGBs in there, but it is a very functional case. I love that you can just pull this door open and get inside and move whatever you want to move or change whatever you want to change. Uh, it is the Corsair 740, I believe is the case. It's got really good airflow and tons of room. The important bits on the inside, I have an i9-9900K, a GTX 1080 Ti, which is still holding strong, and 32 gigs of ram as for like a gaming and streaming pc it's a little outdated i can't get my hands on a 30 series gpu to save my life thanks a lot bots so i ended up going to a two pc streaming setup and i'll show you that other pc here in just a minute moving along the desk here we've got my baby the helicon go xlr and i would 100 percent recommend this sound interface for anybody who's creating content this little bad boy has everything in one i'm talking a compressor a gate a preamp it's got these sliders and the functionality to be able to put your different audio sources discord game your voice on different tracks so you can control the volume of independently and be able to mute you can see up there what my settings are right now what audio sources i'm using over here is your voice changer and it can do all kinds of different things you can see on the side the presets megaphone robot hard tune which is your auto tune it's got some really cool features and then down at the bottom is like your little soundboard where you can play different sound clips and sound effects my mouse is hella old this mouse is from like 2013 it's the razer naga epic but i absolutely love it and i've had zero trouble with it i love mice that have the 12 buttons on the side i don't know how people like reach across their keyboard and hit stuff it can also be wireless but i use it in wired mode and i absolutely love it the mouse pad is a razor firefly it lights up it's pretty you move your mouse stream decks oh i love my stream decks i've got one that runs to each computer my gaming computer and my streaming computer i've got the stream deck xl and i've got the stream deck regular i don't know that that's what it's called but it's just a stream deck and what these do if you're unfamiliar is they allow you to trigger different scenes different things on your stream with the push of a button you can do it with hotkeys but this really makes it so much easier and like for me i have so many different things on my stream deck that there's no way that i'd be remember like i'd be able to remember all the different hotkeys and different things that i need to push so i just kind of got this and i really need to set it up but you can see i have scenes inside of scenes inside of scenes and most of these things are multi-actions as well so just the ability to trigger multiple things at once from something like this is super fantastic and if you're gonna go anyway i highly recommend an elgato stream deck now mine are pretty ugly because i don't have pictures for all my different actions right now so a while back they added a screen saver where you can just put an image and that's what i've been doing 
onto the monitors. Now for my side monitors where I'm not gaming, I just have two kind of cheap monitors. They're Asus MX279s, I believe. Just little 1080p monitors capped at 75 hertz. They're nothing special, but they were cheap. And they get the job done when it's just like chat and OBS and stuff. Now my main gaming monitor, I actually upgraded not that long ago and I upgraded it because I really loved the monitor on that laptop that I showed you earlier. This is also an Acer Predator monitor. It's 27 inches, it's 165 hertz, 1440p. It's got G-Sync, I love the thing to death. My keyboard is a Logitech G910. I've had two of these uh, over the years and I just keep going back to them because I really, really love them. They're a full-size keyboard. I love the clickiness of the keys and they're not too loud because I hate when my like keys pick up in my mic and whatnot. So I really like that aspect of it. And it's got the RGB, which is really cool. And it even will change based on the game that you're playing with the Logitech software. On the side, it has five macro buttons where you can set it up to whatever you want it to be. And up top, it's got different memory buttons, I believe it is, uh, so that essentially you have 20 macros because every time you hit that, it's a different set of macros. My streaming computer. I actually got this computer at Micro Center as a pre-built, but it does the job fantastically. Inside of it, it's got an AMD 5700 XT, an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor, and it does everything that I needed to do and more. I absolutely love this, especially for a pre-built. And I bought a little add-on for the desk so I can hang it right underneath, get it out of the way. It's awesome. You may have noticed too that I only have one mouse. Are you using two mice? Stop it, stop it now. There's a software called Synergy where you can use the same mouse across two different PCs. So you can see the same mouse is going from my gaming PC down bottom to my streaming PC up top. Easy peasy, get rid of the second mouse. I'll totally do a video on the Synergy software if you guys want to see that, so make sure to leave that in the comments below. The monitor attached to my streaming PC is just a little HP 27 inch, capped at 75 hertz, nothing special. These speakers though, these are something special. These are the Logitech G560s. They sound fantastic. The RGB is cool. They look fantastic and it can be hooked up both wired and via Bluetooth. So I'm actually able to use it for both PCs at the same time for external audio, which is really cool for streaming without a headset. So you can see down here that uh, I have it set up wired on my gaming PC. And then up top, I'm actually just uh, able to send my sound through Bluetooth to those speakers as well. So if you have a two PC setup and you're wanting to stream without headset and get your audio from your alerts and your game, this is your answer. Down bottom is where I have the subwoofer. This thing will shake the whole house. It's incredible. Logitech G560. For my microphone arm, I use a Rode PSA1, which is kind of the standard for streamers. It does a fantastic job. And my mic is the Shure SM7B. I bought this thing a couple years ago. It was completely worth the price. I haven't looked back and it's a dynamic microphone, which means it does a better job of kind of just picking up your voice and cutting out the background sound. I love the sound of it. 100% recommend it if you have the extra money to drop on a microphone. Lighting, I use the Elgato key lights and I love these things. They have adjustable brightness, they have adjustable color temperature, and I can turn them on straight from my stream deck. So push of a button, you can turn them off. Push of a button, you can turn them back on. You're ready to stream, you're done with stream. I know it's kind of lazy, but I love it and it's cool. I switched from a ring light and this diffuses the light so much better and gets rid of those hot spots. When I'm streaming, I use a Sony A6000 as my webcam. I switched from a Logitech, I believe C922, but listen, if there are any webcams out there, I've tried them and you're not gonna get close to the quality. This is a DSLR camera, so you do have to have it connected to your computer with a capture card, which does make this entire thing just a little more pricey. But for me, the improvement in quality was 100% worth it. For my headset, I use a wireless SteelSeries Arctis Pro, and I really dig these things. The battery life is immaculate, 15 hours, and they give you two batteries. The sound quality, in my opinion, is the best that I've heard out of a wireless headset, and the microphone isn't terrible as well. One of the reasons I picked it up was the microphone was supposed to be fantastic, and it's not bad for a headset microphone. The ear cups are really soft and comfortable, and they keep you cool, which is really nice because I've had some headsets that will make your face sweat. And I hang it up on my Razer Base Station headphone stand. This little box right here is what 
like sends and receives the wireless signal for the headphones it's connected to my gaming computer it's also the battery charger and it has a bunch of different settings for it you can use the auxiliary you can use bluetooth sound however you want to do it the rest of my stuff on my desk is just kind of like odds and ends like a denim kazoo which you could definitely need sometimes when you're streaming or like a train whistle that one of your mods gave you that you sometimes need to use or a knife and a granola bar in case there's a zombie apocalypse or you like need to open a box or something last but not least is my uplift desk and i love this thing it's 78 inches by 80 inches it's massive it stands way up it sits way down all at the push of a button i've definitely been very pleased with it the top is a mahogany laminate i think it looks fantastic and it's resistant to stains and scratches which was really important to me because i'm like eating and drinking at my desk and everything i do recommend though if you get one of these bigger l-shaped desks like this one have somebody come put it together drop the extra money the assembly looked really easy on youtube was not really easy in application but you can see here push of a button it'll raise up to whatever you have it preset as your standing height and then add another preset you can push the button and it'll go back down to your sitting height you can have four different presets on there or you can just raise it up and down however you want to do it for those long gaming sessions the stand up desk for me has been invaluable hands down one of the biggest and best upgrades that i have done if you do get a desk like this and it's l-shaped and you want to sit in the corner i definitely recommend the piece up top that keeps it and kind of curves it all off and i recommend this key tray i wasn't sure about either one of them but after i got the desk and i saw how it all went together and where i'd be sitting i don't see how i could do it comfortably without those add-ons all in all i recommend this desk very highly 10 to 10 must have oh yeah my lights these were actually really cheap light bulbs i want to say they were like nine or ten bucks for several of them way cheaper than the phillips hughes they don't do like three thousand colors but they might do like two thousand colors and you can use the google home to change the colors on it there's also an app that goes on your phone for the price they're awesome I do quite often use a green screen in my streams, and this is an Elgato green screen that pulls down from the top of the ceiling. For the longest time, I had one that sat behind my chair. Then I got this one that mounted. It's really light, and I love the thing to death because you can just pull it down, and even if you want to change in the middle of the stream, like it's super simple just to tap it and have it go back up. So the convenience of having it there but not having it across the middle of your floor, this thing is amazing. And that's a wrap. Thank you for checking out my video on my 2021 stream setup. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Is there things that I should improve? Is there something that you see I'm missing technology wise that I should get? I would really love to hear from you guys. And if you have the time, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I appreciate it. I hope to see you around again and see you later, dudes.